if you work in healthcare, especially in hospitals or clinics, where imaging is an essential part of diagnosis, these 15 radiology terms will help you speak clearly and confidently with both colleagues and patients. In today's lesson, I'll explain each word in simple language and give you natural example phrases you can use right away in your professional practice. Welcome to Learning English Pro, the home of medical English on YouTube. I'm Jer, and here we focus on English you really need for your professional life. This lesson is perfect for nurses, doctors, medical students, and anyone working in healthcare who wants to improve their medical English. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more medical English lessons. If you'd like a full guide for this lesson, it's available to my student membership over on the membership tab right now. And it's also available as a one-time download on my YouTube store for just $1.99. The guide gives you all the content from today's video, plus an additional bonus glossary and a practice exercise to help you remember the vocabulary. Okay, let's get started on our first term. And let's start with a few basics. X-ray. Repeat after me. X-ray. And of course, an X-ray is an imaging test that uses radiation to view bones and some organs. Let's check out our example phrase. We'll order a chest X-ray to check for pneumonia. Moving on to term number two. It's a CT scan. CT scan. This is a detailed imaging test using x-rays and computer processing. The CT scan showed a small bleed in the brain. Let's move on to MRI. MRI. MRI is a scan using magnets and radio waves to produce detailed images. The patient is scheduled for an MRI of the spine. Term number four, ultrasound. Ultrasound. Ultrasound is imaging that uses sound waves to see inside the body. We'll do an ultrasound to check the liver. We're already on term number five. Contrast. Repeat after me. Contrast. Contrast is a substance used in imaging to make structures clearer. Let's take a look at our example sentence. The CT with contrast revealed a tumour in the kidney. Term number six. Mammogram. Mammogram. A mammogram is a special X-ray used to detect breast abnormalities. Her mammogram came back normal this year. Let's move on to fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy is imaging that shows moving body parts in real time. Fluoroscopy was used to guide the catheter into place. Term number eight. Angiogram. Repeat after me. Angiogram. An angiogram is an imaging test of blood vessels, usually with contrast dye. Let's check out our example phrase. The angiogram showed narrowing of the coronary arteries. If you're enjoying this lesson and want to dive deeper into the words, check out the guide that comes with this lesson. It's available to my student members over on the membership tab right now. And you can join student membership with the link below. The guide is also available as a one-time download on my YouTube store for just $1.99. So check it out. Everything's linked in the video description. Let's move on to radiograph. Radiograph. A radiograph is the actual image produced by an x-ray. 
The radiograph confirms a fracture of the radius. Term number 10. PET scan. PET scan. A PET scan is an imaging test that shows metabolic activity using a radioactive tracer. The PET scan detected early cancer spread. Let's move on to radiologist. Radiologist. A radiologist is a doctor who interprets imaging tests. The radiologist will review the MRI and send a report. Term number 12. Interventional radiology. Interventional radiology. These are procedures using imaging to guide minimally invasive treatments. Let's check out our example. Interventional radiology placed a stent in the bile duct. Next up we have radiation dose. Radiation dose. This is the amount of radiation a patient receives during imaging. We need to limit the radiation dose for paediatric patients. If you're enjoying this lesson on Medical English, make sure to drop a like, subscribe and maybe share it with a colleague. And if you have a request for a Medical English lesson, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. We are down to our final two terms. Term number 14. Artifact. Artifact. An artifact is a false or misleading feature on an image caused by movement or equipment. The blurry spot is just an artifact, not a lesion. And now it's time for our final term. Portable X-ray. Portable X-ray. A portable X-ray is an X-ray machine that can be brought to the patient's bedside. Let's check out our final example sentence. We ordered a portable X-ray for the ICU patient. Great work today. You've just learned 15 essential radiology terms that will help you communicate more clearly with patients and colleagues in real hospital and clinic settings. Remember, these words become much easier to use when you practice them regularly. Try using one or two of today's terms the next time you're discussing scans, explaining results or reviewing imaging with your team. If you'd like to review everything we've covered today, the full guide with definitions, an example sentence and a practice activity is available right now in the student membership area and also as a one-time download in the YouTube store. Check out my student membership. It's a great learning tool. You'll gain access to every one of my PDF guides. We're up to over 90 guides now. You'll also gain access to my learning library of over 300 English lessons, a fantastic resource covering lots of interesting topics. Don't forget to like this video if it helped you, subscribe for more medical English lessons and let me know in the comments what speciality you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.